Hey guys, Jason here with Quantum Courses, and in this tutorial, we'll be going over how to integrate Google Analytics with Teespring to get valuable insight into your store traffic and target audience. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notifications bell to be notified each time I release a new tutorial. By adding Google Analytics to your Teespring store, you'll be able to track your site visits, your traffic, the demographics of your audience, and tons more. So let's go through the entire process to integrate Google Analytics with Teespring. Once you've signed into your Teespring account, you want to look up at the top right and click the drop down menu beside your email address. From the drop down menu, you want to go down and click on the marketing tab. Here's where you can add your tracking codes and pixels for Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Google. Since this tutorial is about Google Analytics, let's go over and click on the Google tab. From the Google tab, you can add your Google AdWords conversion pixels and add your Google Analytics tracking snippet. Here's where we want to input our tracking ID in order to connect Google Analytics to our Teespring store. But in order to input our tracking ID, we first need to create one. So to create a Google Analytics tracking ID for our Teespring store, let's head over to the Google Analytics website. The web address is analytics.google.com. In order to access Google Analytics, you'll first need to sign into your Google account. If you already have one, go ahead and log in with your Gmail and your Google password. If you don't have a Google account, go ahead and create one now. So here's the Google Analytics website. Google Analytics is a powerful tool that gives you valuable data to help you grow your business and get more sales. But in order to track website data, you'll first need to install a tracking ID. So now let's create a tracking ID for my Teespring store. To create a new tracking ID, let's look at the menu on the left hand side, go all the way down to the bottom, and click on the Admin tab. Here's where you can create and manage your Google Analytics accounts, the properties for each account, and the various views for each property. In order to create a new account for my Teespring store, let's go over to the Account column and click on the blue Create Account button. Here's where you can enter the details to create your new account. First, go ahead and create an account name. You're allowed to have multiple accounts on Google Analytics, so make sure you name it something that's easily recognizable. Once you've named your account, scroll down to the bottom and click on Next. Now you can select what type of data you want to measure. Since we want to measure the data for our Teespring store, let's select the option that says Web to measure the website. Make sure you have the Web option selected then scroll down and click on Next. Now we're going to add our Teespring store as a new property for this account. Go ahead and start by inputting your website name. Each account can have multiple properties, so make sure you name it something that's easily recognizable. Once you've named your website, you can now add your website URL. Teespring is a secure website, so from the drop down menu here, make sure you select HTTPS. In the text field, I'll then type in the Teespring URL. There we go. Now we can select the industry category. If you click the drop down menu here, you'll see tons of different categories that you can select for your website. Since I'm creating this property for Teespring, I think I'll select shopping. After you select your industry category, you can now select your time zone. Use the first drop down menu here to select your country. Then click the second drop down menu to select your time zone. Since I'm on United States Eastern time zone, I'm going to select New York time. Once you're finished setting up your property, go ahead and click on create. You will then be taken to the Google Analytics terms of service agreement. Go ahead and select your country from the drop down menu, read through the agreement and click the check boxes to accept the terms. Once you're ready, go down to the bottom and click on I accept. And voila, we just created a new Google Analytics tracking ID to use for our Teespring store. So let's go ahead and copy our Google Analytics tracking ID to our clipboard, then head back over to our Teespring settings. From the Google tab, look at the third text field at the bottom that says default Google Analytics tracking snippet and paste in your Google Analytics tracking ID. Once you've pasted in your tracking ID, go ahead and click on update. And there we have it. Your Teespring store will now be tracked with Google Analytics. From your Google Analytics account, you'll now be able to track valuable information regarding your Teespring store visitors and their behavior. After installing the tracking ID, 
remember that it might take up to 24 hours for Google Analytics to begin collecting information. But once it starts reporting, you'll be able to view all sorts of important data to help you make better business decisions. On the Home tab, you can get an overview of your data by seeing your users, number of sessions, bounce rate, and session duration. From the Real Time tab, you can get an overview of the users that are currently viewing your shop. This includes the active users on your site and the number of page views per minute. From the Audience tab, you can get all sorts of valuable information regarding your store visitors such as their demographics, the browsers or operating systems they use, and the overall number of page visits. From the Acquisitions tab, you can see information about where your store visitors came from. This includes traffic coming from social media, direct traffic, email, referral, and other traffic sources. From the Behavior tab, you can see how your traffic is interacting with your store and your products. This includes how much time they spent on your store, which pages were viewed the most, and the user flow. There's also a tab to analyze your store conversions. Once you set up certain store goals, you'll be able to view your conversion reports to see how well your store is performing. So that's a quick overview of how to add Google Analytics to your Teespring store. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.